All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Nether. Uh, we left off. All we've got is this fancy-looking axe here. Um, but they actually just did a patch. Nothing major. Uh, loot was not affected, unfortunately. I was really, really hoping for a patch where they would increase the loot a little bit. Because things just... Uh, you know, <laughs> I've said this probably every single video. I like this game a lot. It's got a lot of potential. But here's a... Whoa. But here's a prime example, okay? <clears throat> you come into a shopping, you know, like a supermarket like this. Not even one energy bar. Not even one drink. I'm not saying that every single store should be like Walmart where you just browse, fill up a shopping cart of stuff and push it to your base and put it in a locker. But, I mean, come on. There's, there should be something in here. Like that, for example. <laughs> like a random assault rifle right in the middle of the store. That's always kind of cool, too. Wow. We got ourselves an assault rifle. This is the first time I found an assault rifle. That's kind of cool. I'm glad I stumbled across that. I didn't even see that on the ground. But yeah, anyway. Um, I, th I really think that they should add some more loot to the game. Things just seem so so hard to find and on top of that if you do find stuff there's specific spots people are looking for things like there's specific spawn points I think things should be random and just spread out all throughout the city um, but what they did patch was is they made the night times darker apparently which I like the game as it was just because I was more concerned for you guys now that you guys are gonna be able to see Just making sure nobody's in here. Really don't care for a sewing kit or bleach. Not exactly sure what we do with that sort of stuff, but you know what? We'll take it. Really don't want it, but I don't know what we can do with it. I know there's a crafting system in here. More sewing kits. I'd rather have bandages, honestly. Oh boy. Wow, that guy didn't even aggro to me. Really kind of shocked about that one. But anyway, they made the night times darker. They patched in a couple other little things. Um, a lot of bug fixes and latency issues that they've been having with their servers. Let's check our map here. We need to head... Whoa. Was I inside that shelf? <laughs> I'm walking around inside the shelf. <laughs> That's cool, too. Yeah, they did some bug pat, you know, like bug fixes, uh, latency fixes, stuff like that. Uh, let's see what else they do. I already said the nighttime. Um, you know, like it's nothing major as far as their patches and stuff that they did do. But uh, I just I was really disappointed to not see that loot was increased anywhere. That was one of my biggest pet peeves with this game is just um, searching for loot because I want to make this uh, series very entertaining for you guys. Sometimes it's very hard to do that when you're spending 25 minutes an episode searching for something and you don't find anything at all. Whereas like in uh, like Infestation slash War Z or Daisy or something like that you're constantly coming across loot which makes for a more entertaining video. This one started off on the right foot, though. We found ourselves an assault rifle, which is really cool. I've never found one of these before yet, so that's a good find right off the bat here. Unfortunately, I think that was our only find for the video. People are still complaining that there's... I can see a little bit of latency, like the game ran really smooth for me before the patch. Um, I can see a little bit of choppiness when I'm recording, but nothing too bad. The game is still in beta, as I've said before, so... Not too worried about that. Nothing in here whatsoever.
Nope, nothing in here. An attack will happen in 10 minutes, so the safe zone's about to go down, which means everybody and their brother's probably heading to that safe zone right now. Which means, guess what? That's where we're gonna go to. Why not? Okay, we are gonna book it across the street really quick. See if there's anything in here, which there is not. I swear some I swear I saw something. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like all being paranoid. I swear I saw somebody following me in right here. Nope. Okay. We do have a rooftop. Is that a rooftop fire? That's another thing you got to be really careful with, is people love to sit on these rooftops and just chill. I'm like so out in the open right here. Alright, let's, let's go check out this fire. Let's get shot in the head while we're out in the open. Shall we? If I know I'm going to die, I like to just spray my bullets everywhere. That way people can't get a, uh, <laughs> a gun with full ammo. That's the worst. And absolutely nothing again. And food, a bro max, and cash, and food. We'll drink that. We'll munch on a tin can. Oh. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is how those shopping stores should have been. Now we're back at a thousand. Nice. Okay, so now we got some pain pills in case we get wounded here. This was a good find. We got some pain pills. We got some uh, some nourishment. We got a gun and a melee. Very, very cool. Now if we could just find a player somewhere, shoot him in the face, take his epic gear... I think we'll be good. I'm not seeing a player anywhere to shoot him in the face, though. Back up a little bit. Where are we at? Safe zone is right behind us. This is a very bad idea to be out here in the open like this. I'm trying to like scan for movement. I'm not seeing much of anything right now. Still nothing. I'm gonna kind of hang out right here because it looks like we're just outside the safe zone, which is going to be attacked here before long. I know there's gonna be players in there. They're all just probably hanging out, waiting for that timer to drop. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think we should jump on this rooftop and see if there's anything up here before we run ourselves in there. There's a lot of potential. Snipers and stuff over here. Oh heck no, I'm not going up there. That's just putting myself way too out in the open. I'm good with giving people a free pain 
paint bottle of pain pills and an assault rifle. I'm not okay with that. I'm just trying to listen as well and see if I can hear like any footsteps. Not picking up. I haven't even seen a nether other than that one at the beginning of the video. Did they like all give up and go home? Oh man, see something like this should have been good for like a weapon or gosh, something. Entering safe zone. Alright, I don't want to enter the safe zone. Not yet, anyway. Okay, now we can fire. Maybe we can kind of hang out here and see if anybody's trying to get to the safe zone and whack them. Like whack-a-mole. Something like that. Not worried about somebody picking me up from the safe zone. I'm more worried about somebody outside the safe zone, like me, waiting for potential victims. When you're sprinting, I've noticed as well, you can't strafe left to right like this when you're sprinting. You can only sprint straight. You have to let go of sprint before you can turn. That's another thing that you got to be aware of when you're running away and dodging people. I don't see anything in there as of yet. These types of buildings are the ones that I'm always worried about. Because you've got so many... And they're buggy as heck trying to get up here. What do we got? Canned food. I'll take that. We're actually needing to eat that. Doesn't give me a lot of nourishment. But better than nothing. Looks like we got something else right there on the ground. Probably a bag of those crunchy bins that are the abundance in this game. Would you look at that? Crunchy bins. Oops. There we go. Crunchy bins save the day. Take a look around. Don't see anybody out of that window. Nobody there. I like to just look out the windows too to see if we can see anybody walking around out there that we can take some shots off at. Nothing there either. As we get higher and higher in this building, I'll keep looking out windows and see if we can see anybody. Oh, this whole floor had nothing in it. More crunchy bins. Never have enough of those. Nothing over there either. A lot of fires and stuff, but I'm not seeing anybody. Oh, the nether devices have failed. The base is going down. not mean to fall out of the window. 
I want to go up and look. Nope, nothing up here. Looks like we're at the top of the, the building now, though. Still not seeing anything. We got some crunchy bins and what, a can of soup up here? Well, we're looking right at the safe zone. I see nether spawning in there now. Not seeing any players as of yet walking around in there. Oh, another thing they did. This just reminded me being up here. So they uh, adjusted fall damage. So right there is one of the uh, radio towers that they've got to fix. All those little black, mini black pillars. Those are all the towers that somebody's got to be going around and fixing. So this is actually a pretty good spot right here. I don't know how accurate this rifle is from this range. There's something going on over there. I don't see anybody anywhere. There we go, right there. That dude's got a ton of nethers on him. I think he just got murder death killed. <laughs> yeah, that dude just got mauled by all those nethers. I turned the chat off in the game so we can't tell if he got killed or not, but I'm almost certain he did. The reason I turned the chat off is because uh, I just hate reading all the crap, the people that talk and all this other stuff. Like. I don't know, I just don't really care for a lot of the communities in this game, so if I could turn chats off in every game, I will. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anybody up here as of right now. That's quite unfortunate. I am seeing a bunch of nethers that he aggro down there, though, but other than that, maybe the server is just really dead right now. I was almost positive it was pretty full. Oh, that's just a glitch in the graphics down there. Yeah, I'm seeing no but no movement. Nobody's repairing the devices for us to pick off. Because if they were, I don't have a shot at that one. But I have a clean shot at at least about, let's see, one, two of them, three of them. But nobody's fixing them right now. <laughs> so, alright guys, well I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying the Nether series. It's a pretty decent game. I do like it. It does have a lot of potential. Um, I'm curious to see how much darker they've made night times. That's one of my biggest concerns is it's going to be way too dark for you guys. Um, I do apologize for there not being a whole lot of action. Not a whole lot I can do. I am searching for players. Um, I am searching for loot. Both of them are hard to find when you've got such a large map like this. As you guys can see, this map is quite big. So when you stick, you know, 40 players in it, it can be hard sometimes when every single building is enterable to find players. And on top of that, when loot is so hard to find, I'm just shocked that I actually found an assault rifle for once. So, at any rate, guys, hope you guys enjoyed another nether. Another nether. You guys like that? <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.